Yankee Doodle came to town. I'll be right back. Hi, folks. Mark Bowser here to tell you about my friend Danny Lane. Danny Lane is an American hero. In fact, he's a hero of mine. I had the opportunity to sit down with Danny and write a book called Some Gave It All. It's his story as a young Marine in the Vietnam War. In 1968 and 1969, Danny was sent to Southeast Asia to help fight to keep us free. He earned two Purple Hearts in that war, among other medals for valor. Now, you may be more familiar with Danny's life as a martial artist. Danny is one of the top martial artists of all time. He's one of Chuck Norris's top black belts and has trained with Chuck Norris for over 35 years. He is a ninth degree black belt. Yeah, you heard me, a ninth degree. He is the real deal. He's a former world kickboxing champion and a nine-time national martial arts champion. Danny Lane is the real deal, and you're going to be excited as you read this story. It's going to be a page-turner for you, as it was for me as I helped him write this. Pick up your copy today. Some gave it all. Pick it up at a bookstore near you or at Amazon.com, or if you want an autographed copy, get one off my website at MarkBowser.com. Now, back to Let Me Tell You a Story. Yankee Doodle came to town riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his hat, and called him Macaroni. We all know the words, but do we know the heritage? How a song that was designed to ridicule became a victory cry of triumph. The famous tune, Yankee Doodle, was written by Dr. Richard Schuckberg. He was a British surgeon during the time of the French and Indian War. Dr. Schuckberg, as well as many British, loved to make fun of their American cousins. During the French and Indian War, the rustic Americans fought on the side of the British. The Americans would march alongside the sharp-dressed, well-trained British redcoats. The good doctor took this contrast and made it a joke. British soldiers had great fun making up their own verses for this little song. But things changed on the way to Lexington. On April 19th, 1775, the British troops were singing Yankee Doodle as they were marching from Boston towards Lexington and Concord. All of a sudden, the now tone-deaf British found themselves in a battle against the rebels. The colonials hid behind trees and under rocks and, and pommeled the redcoats as they marched by. The American War for Independence had begun. As the Redcoats retreated hastily from the battlefield, they could hear that old familiar tune again. But this time, it was sung by the Americans. And on that day, the Americans captured the song as their own, and it became a patriotic classic to this day. The Americans began to refer to the song as the Lexington March. During the war, the Americans found great joy in playing this song as the British surrendered at key battles, such as Saratoga and the war-ending Yorktown. At the surrender at Saratoga, Ton Anbury, a British officer, said it was not a little mortifying to hear them play this tune when their army marched down to our surrender. Not bad for a bunch of rebels. This is Mark Bowser. Thanks for listening. Are you looking for a speaker for your next organizational event? Look no further than the host of this podcast, Mark Bowser. He's presented seminars to Southwest Airlines, Princeton University, the United States Marine Corps, Dell, and many more. Learn more about Mark speaking and other work on markbowser.com.